S&P 500 is now above 4,500. Nasdaq is back above 15,000. However, I don't think this bullish run can sustain. Let me share my best trading plan for. Okay, this is the S&P 500 chart from uh, my recommended broker IG. You can see we did break off the resistant area in here. 4450 area however if you pay attention it's only tuesday we managed to break through yes a little bit of continuation on wednesday then thursday friday we have a double high test reversal bar so price likely to correct a bit and then i think we put come back for a double top then the real move will come so it's uh, for me s p 500 is too strong to sell but too late to buy but i'll use it as a reference for so if we can find support at 4450 area maybe a short-term buy because that's the you know it's the uptrend uh, daily uptrend so i could buy short term but be mindful that i'm seeing other weakness which i'm going to share that with you so i could see a double top around 4500 which is now the new monthly pivot area then we could see that sell off but s p is not top of my list to sell i'll share some of them that i like to sell nasdaq on the other hand you can see on daily we are <coughs> reach to a resistant level around the 15,500 we have two reversal bar to doji so if you drop down to hourly we are now you know trying to uh break lower so for me i could be selling the nasdaq as early as tuesday uh, not monday because monday is u.s bank holiday so any move will be what I call a fake move anyway when the real stock market is not open future contract move is not reliable but on Tuesday if it comes stay below these 15,400 I could be selling the Nasdaq okay but I'll be using an intraday momentum method to sell it all right so predominantly the opening time is top of my list to sell where to I mean you know we could see a back down to around the 14 thousand eight hundred area so that would be my first target on that but because it's a smaller time frame so you know i could be taking some profit before that but we shall see how price reacts so i keep an eye on that nasdaq is more on my list to sell funny enough down zone is actually showing more weakness it's actually we have a daily downtrend so we have seen some conflicts in there so s p and nasdaq actually have an uptrend but Dow Jones actually have a daily downtrend so you can see here making lower high lower high lower lows lower lows so we could see Dow Jones come back to test this 34,000 area so not ruling out to uh, sell the Dow but mm, I much prefer to trade S&P and um, and as that but uh, yeah we I have an area that if I see Dow go down below 36,000 uh, 34,600 sorry then I will look to sell it let's have a quick look on the uh, monthly pivot and see where the monthly pivot is yeah it's bang on monthly pivot at the moment so anything below that I would uh, yeah that could be a seller on that okay moving on to uh, the final US indice that I like to talk about is the Russell if you go to daily we potentially again we have a downtrend potentially we are forming up a lower high so i know friday looks a little bit bullish but we shall see and now we are sitting around the monthly pivot area so let's drop down to an hourly if i do see a one hour sort of change of trend so something like you know ideally break below this area 1900 then yes it will uh, confirm more bearish to come on the um, on the US stock market. So overall, we are seeing that weakness in Dow Jones, Russell, Nasdaq. Although it's an uptrend, but is a uh, at resistant. That's why I don't want to buy. That's for sure. Could I be a seller? Yeah, it depends on that. But Nasdaq and uh, Dow Jones is on my list to sell. Top of my list to sell is actually 
the Hang Seng Hong Kong index. The reason why I want to sell it is look at this. This is now a clear downtrend break, uh, breaking support. Now we're tracing back into what I call a support and resistance zone. And uh, we are now at this monthly pivot area, which is under 19,000 area, which I like. I like a lot. So uh, I, uh, it's top of my list to, to sell it. Friday, we did see a little bit of move in there, but it's fake because Friday we have the biggest typhoon in Hong Kong. The real stock market is not open, so whatever the spike is, is just it's not real. So what I like to see is uh, what I call a one-two-three pattern. Let me just get my pen, show you. So something like a one-hour double top again around this area, then I will look to be a seller of Hang Seng because. Overall, the Hong Kong stock market, the Chinese stock market is the weakest in the world at the moment. So, you know, if you want to sell something, make sure you try and find the weakest to sell. So for me, it's clear uh, this is no, you know, it's clear direction is the downtrend. So I would be looking to be a seller at least to first target to the last swing low and then I'll leave some running perhaps optimistically around the 16,000 area because there's not much traffic a little bit through here but I'll manage it accordingly if you are members of my private trading group you will get a signal that if I do place a trade on that okay so that's all for me for the stock market if you have any question you're welcome to drop me a comment otherwise thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon